Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Just Slap Tennis video. We got an absolute banger for you guys. Today, we're gonna be reacting to the best racket smashes in 2022. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, click the notification button, and as always, join the Discord. Also, very special thank you to an OG Just Slap family member, Jane, for recommending the video. Let's get into it. Got it. He's got it. Well, and to be our, as So, I just want to start off by saying, just by the tattoo on his arm, you know that he is a black belt in breaking racket. That that tattoo is not is not for for meaning or He's for, not it's not his first time. No, that's it's definitely not his first time. time. He, first he has time. got he what, what, basically let me break it down for the people that don't know. That tattoo means that he has gone to a formal school where he's received education on how <laughs> to break rackets. And the two stripe with the thing in the middle that's the equivalent of a, of a jujitsu black belt. I get the tattoo, I get the black belt right. thing. I'm not impressed. No. Took multiple strikes. Yep. It was one, two, three, I believe it might have even been four. Maybe four. Maybe four. We're gonna have to do a review. Slow tempo, yeah. not very fast, yes. not a lot of body. Not, definitely not a lot, not lot of arm, body. A lot, a lot of, of arm, not, not a lot of core. That's a five out of 10. Five out of 10. I, I think, I think uh, the execution was poor. I would, I would definitely agree with you on that. I would also add that uh, I, I believe his black belt should be stripped. <laughs> I think he should no longer be a black belt. I think he's a blue belt at best. Four out of 10. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's go. A lot of adjustments to that racket. Like it's a decent amount of damage, no. but it's, it's one. It's, it's, the, it's, Two. The, it's the short, it's three. the shortness. Okay, yeah. so three strikes. Okay, three, three strikes, strikes might make it a little bit better. I but thought for a black four. belt, but for a black belt. Game copper. So this one, this one is brilliant. Because, you know, the racket break itself, it doesn't sound like it's something crazy. You know, you hear metal, so it's In the chair. distant. It's, it's, it sounds distant. It's a little distant. It's it's metal against metal, so you, he's hitting the chair or the pole or something like that, okay. The best part about this is the cameraman and him recording the player. They're just recording this player, they hear the racket breaks, but they don't switch. No, no, no. They just zoom in, continuously zoom in on the opponent yep. and his facial reaction. I would go a step further. I would say that that cameraman um, uh, is is a brilliant, brilliant uh, filmographer. <laughs> is that the word? Cinematographer. Cinematographer. <laughs> yeah. That cameraman is a brilliant cinematographer because he had the shot. Yeah. He knew it was coming. He knew Benoit Pair was on the other side. He knew that Benoit was not happy. He knew it was coming. So he got into his position, held the position. No matter what the sound came, when it came, the strength, the distance, mm -hmm. he was there. Mm -hmm. Tight shot, mm -hmm. ready to capture the player's mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, reaction. Let's, let's, let's see if they recorded it. Now the let's see the actual break. Yeah. Because we heard the break. Again. So you, yeah. were, you were correct. It was, it was a little bit of the, the chair. Metal. Um, Here's another thing. This one, the, the strikes themselves aren't that clean. Yeah. He's kind of sliding it on the chair. It continues with the motion. It's, there's no hard stop, so there's not a hard break. The yeah. racket's still intact. Yeah. You can see tiny pieces flying all over the place, which, by the way, a little bit dangerous considering they're fans. I mean, yeah. look at this lady in the sunglasses. Yeah. I mean, she's just also- That's a lawsuit waiting to happen. That's a lot, not one that's a lawsuit waiting to happen, but she might be the most badass woman. I think that's a, that's a, that seems like a lady, right? I believe so. Okay, anyway. I mean, she's a badass. Mm -hmm. Cause she's just sitting there. Benoit Pair is just railing his yes. racket against the chair. Pieces flying everywhere. All over the place. And she's just sitting there, arms crossed on her lap, hat, glasses, doesn't give a Here's what I would say, okay? First of all, a cameraman, I'd give the cameraman a 10. That, is there ever a 10? That, that, that is a 10. I would place it at a, at a Scorsese level wow. of directing. So I, I, I'd give the cameraman a 10. As okay. for the smash, I thought the smash was weak. Um, I thought he's le he left his body a little open. Yeah. So he was coming around like this. But like, it's as you know, stance. in fighting, you gotta be covered. You yeah. gotta cover up because like you said, things could be bouncing back. What I will add though, he did make up with it with a fling. I'm a big fling guy. Love I love fling. I love a smash you love a toss. and then a toss. A toss the is, toss, that's a Stephen and, it, and, and if you notice, that's a wrist movement yeah, it's just, and it has to be developed. It has to be effortless. Or else, or else it has to be effortless. Carpal tunnel. Yeah. Carpal tunnel. Yeah. So the flick, <laughs> In the wrist is big for me, yeah. and he's mastered that. He's mastered. So I would have given him a five without the flick, but with the five, yeah, I'm gonna go six. Okay, I'm gonna give this one a six point eight. Benoit Pair is so effortless mm -hmm. that even smashing his racket, he's still. It's just like it's like a paintbrush. It is. Like, it's like a paintbrush. That's he's exactly an artist. You are exactly he's right. That's an artist. That's exactly how I would describe yeah. that swing. It is literally like a painter. Yeah. On a giant landscape, yeah. a Monet, if you will. <laughs> if you will. Yes. Nice Wow. Wow. 
That was that was a double take. That's a double. Yeah. Went for the smash like a fake. Said not. Nah. Like a fake. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not happening. One shot. Outstanding. I mean, how do you? Outstanding. I would give that a solid eight point one. Yeah, that's a that's an. I actually, you know what? Eight point one is right on the money. Eight point. That's an eight point one. TT box one. Volleys. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. Wow. I love that one. Wow. I love that one. Very big fan. Can I tell you well. why I love that Please one? Please tell me. It's 110 percent. He gave 110 yeah. percent there. It's one strike. Yeah. What he's lacking in repetition, he makes up in effort Work and ethic. power. Work ethic. You could tell that he really put his soul into that one. Yeah. The racket went flying. Yeah. It was a perfect uh, balance of forward motion and downward. Force. What I would say about that smash is it's very clear when you look at a player and you're like, okay, this is God-given talent in yeah. racket smashing ability, <laughs> and this is a trained product. Yeah. And and that smash from Grigor Dimitrov yeah. is a trained product. You think so? Yeah, oh, 100%. Okay. There are repetitions that have been done behind the scenes. Yeah. That okay? we don't see. That we don't see. There's been work in the gym to get the strength yeah. needed for that smash. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect technique. Yeah. I mean, perfect technique. Yeah. Nobody comes out out of the gate with that technique. No. For me, 7.9. Okay, so you're going lower than the Stevie Johnson. The Stevie Johnson kind of hit me a little bit, but I'm giving that a 7.9. Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to give this one an 8.5. 8.5. I think I, it's more impressive to me than the Stevie Johnson one. Yeah. I think he really committed to it, yes. and I respect that a lot. Yes. I respect that. He did, there was no hesitation. Stephen, Stevie Johnson was like, and then he broke the, but, and then but, he stopped but that's why, But that's why I gave it a higher score, because in order for to go from one movement and, and so effortlessly switch, it's it's very tough to do. Yeah. Versus he knew from the gate that's what but he was I doing. But I like that because it was from the heart. You know what I mean? Fair enough. It was, there was no mind there. It wasn't like, oh, let me think about it. It was just walk, I feel it, boom. Fair enough. Execute, done. Fair enough. Teach their own. Oh, that's fabulous. Interesting. Not my favorite. Interesting. So careful. Interesting. So close to not really a smash. No, more like a bounce. More like a more like a just to stun the racket a little yeah. bit, wake it up, get yeah. the get the jitters going. Yes. Okay, that makes much more sense. That makes much more sense. Again with the bounce, and then a throw. And then another throw. So I like the I like the the, the spontaneous nature yeah. of it. However, I thought um, like the first the first one was more to wake up the racket. Yeah. To say hey, this get, was like all right, pucker up. The second one I like the one shot kill shot. The problem was not it's enough not damage. Not a kill shot. Not enough though. damage. Not a, I don't like Fabio it's, strikes. I, I listen. I think Fabio. I love Fabio. Right. It's more of a tantrum throw. Yes. It's not a shoot to kill yes. type of throw. Yes. There's not enough. Anger there. Yes. And strategically, strategically, I wouldn't recommend that choice. No. Right? Because if you're gonna go for a racket smash, you need to get rid of that negative energy. Yes. yes. The way to get rid of it is maximum damage. hundred percent. Maximum damage. This is not racket. a release. This is uh, this is showmanship. This it's is not this is a showmanship, yeah. but also it, it, exactly there's still residue. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with a solid five point six. Okay, I give this one a three point two. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. To me it's too I like the balance. The fact that it went super high, that's that that saved it a little I'm bit. Gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think a 3.2 is very, very insulting of a score. There was there was there was an art there that I think. You no, it, I don't take it as art. Benoit Paire was art. He was an artist. One was landscape. One was portrait. This is true. That's a good argument. Right. Good rally here. Mm hmm Oh, drop shot. The grunts. The grunts. Uh. Yep. Misses Missed it. it. Wow. And there's a double break lead for Montero. Yeah. This wow. Is big. This is big. My, my emotions, described in one word? Tell me. Anger. I think there was no justice in that. He lost the, he lost the point, lost the game, right? Yep. The racket in his hand was the one to blame. But instead of taking Which, it out on the racket to blame, he unjustly, yeah. brutally. And also, it seemed like a sucker punch to me. Very much. The racket was. The racket was. The racket was chilling. Chilling. It was, taking it was a just, nap. It had done his job for it, that match. It did. And then he. Possibly he might get called up to go back to the stringer and be brought out again. Possibly. In the future. But he had done his point. job. Yeah. That racket was perfectly in a Held great its state. Own. Held its own. Did its job. Yeah. And now he's got to take the sucker punch. For this racket? Yeah, that's that's it's a bit it's a bit unfair. I'm not gonna lie. I, did, I mean, I that's, did get a, a hint of unfairness there. The fact that he got this is getting away with murder yeah. in my eyes. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, it's just a stomp. Boom. Just just innocent. Flattens it. Innocent. Innocent. It. Innocent. It. And had the leverage. What do you give this one, Steve? 
Me? Yeah. 0. 0.0. A zero is a little intense for me. Nope. But I give it a 1.3. That's baller. Wow. That's baller. Yeah. Wow. That's baller. That's like. Wow. I mean, to use, to break the racket on your own body, yeah. at that point, I'm shaking hands and yes. saying, listen, buddy, don't because give me any more problems. It's not the Dimitrov one where the racket was already broken and he just finished it. No, he... This, this is, was straight, I don't care what happens to me. Yeah. You're almost a psychopath at this point because you're like, I don't care what happens to me yeah. as long as this racket gets it. But I'll tell you this much, I'll tell you this much, like there's a level to this. This is a separate category, right? This is yeah. like, this isn't, you know, the same category as the ones we've seen. This is on its own because he's breaking it over his own body yeah but i wouldn't say this is like psychopath category like we're talking you know like um usually yes when he smashed it over his own that's head that's a very good point that's like okay that's like next level this, this is, is this is like this is, a, mild. This is mild very but mild. still i would agree to just snap it over your knee like that nothing else yes. i mean that's pretty impressive i think that's a 7.8 i was gonna say 7.3 i would have given it i would have given it i would it would have been in the eights for me if it wasn't for the double take oh. wow <laughs> wow. Okay. So I just want to say, I just want to say here, we've obviously talked about uh, Karatsev calves before and just the sheer size and power that is contained in yeah. those calves. He has to bend low yes. in order to maximize yes. the power generated Absolutely. out of his calves. Absolutely. Can I just say though, I think considering the outfit he's wearing, we have to deduct an immediate four points. Agreed. Maximum score that he could get is a six at this point. Yeah, Racket Smash is fantastic. Racket Smash is great. Listen, cameraman again, focuses in, almost zooms in on his ass, which is interesting. Yeah, I think that's more of a, of a trained expert knowing exactly where the what force the, is coming from. And not one, knowing where the force is coming from and two, knowing what the audience wants. Correct. Because you could have easily seen Karatsev's cast from the front. Oh, you could have seen the rack. You could film the racket break from any angle. You could have been up in the stadium. You could have seen Karatsev's see... calves, no problem. Oh, I'm pretty sure I can see Karatsev's calves from here. Correct. So are we agreed that the score oh. is 6.0? Yeah, I give it a 6. Okay. Yeah. Love a Stevie Johnson one. Oh, yeah. That's a bad miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Two big shots, yeah. a lot of damage. Okay, so I'm gonna say very clean, right? The fact that it was only two, the only, the only uh, 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 for me, one point deduction, Tell wobbly me. at the end. Yeah. Leaning to the left at the end. Yeah, not, not a much, good, not, not a good base. Grounded, not That's a lot grounded. of power missed. That's a yeah. lot of power lost. I agree. So I would take that and I would give him an 8.6. Okay. I thought other than that, it was a terrific. Okay. Program. Yeah. So for me, that's, that's too high, way too high. Mm -hmm. I'd give this one a 6.2. Wow. I, I don't see a hundred percent there. I see like 70% when I see that. So a lot of damage though. Yeah. Damage, but he's a big boy. So he's playing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Again, okay. again. Interesting. Look at the calves. Yeah. Look at the bend. Yeah. Um, my only thing is uh, different, different tempo. Yeah. Also, not that much power. Look at yeah. the damage. The, the damage is not great. This was more of a. This was more of a, a jab. But listen, this a is the money of shot. jabs. This is the money shot. Okay. This is the money shot right here. Yeah. So we're going break, 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 boom, money shot. Calves. Calves. That's correct. The sheer, the the full force of his calves. Yeah just unloaded onto yes. that rack. And correct me if I'm wrong, that's a European technique, I believe. Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe. I mean, that's where they Slavic, teach it night possibly? and day. Slavic, Slavic. Slavic undertones for sure, <laughs> there, absolutely. I give this one like a 6.8. Yeah, I would, I would go a little bit lower. I mean, I would probably say this is like a 5.7. Jumping back in. Ooh, wow. nice lob. Push. <laughs> Intense point. Yeah, definitely must be an important one. Oh! Wow. 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 You know, I don't think that that was warranted, to be honest. That's a 5.3. That me. is blasphemy. That's that a you 5. You just rated 3. that as a 5. 5.3. One swing. Total demolition of the racket. Not total. Not total demolition. Total no. demolition of the racket. You're telling me Look that's that. total demolition? That's total demolition. That's it's broken in four. I could, four I could play another two games with that racket. 5.3. Wow. 5.3. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> that's my score. That is a, that is a, that is a 7.9.
Okay, okay. I like this one. Okay. I like this one. I have a theory on this one. Okay, tell me. I think it was a half-half. Half of the frustration was due to losing the point. Okay. But actually, the half of the other frustration is the fact that he almost tripped. Yeah, you did almost He almost fell. The racket was used to hold him up. Yeah. And then, because he was so angry that he almost tripped and almost embarrassed himself in front of these people, he took that anger, yeah. manifested it, yeah. and, and just into that racket. It. This one I like because of the just absolute But good commitment. technique. Great but good commitment. Technique. Great commitment. However, also put himself at risk. Yes. Put himself at yes. risk. Gotta respect that. He really went for he, it. It was so authentic and so... Yes. He just put so much power into it that he put himself at risk and said, F*** it. If this hits me, if this nails me in the head, yeah. I'm gonna take it. Yeah. And I'm could have scratched up, could have scratched up his hand really bad. Oh, easily. I give this one a eight point seven. See, I see, that sounds like a fair score. However, however, Tell due me. to the fact, due to the fact that the racket actually ended up saving him, and then he took out that anger on the racket. Yeah. Automatic one point deduction, seven point seven. Okay, interesting. All right, here we have Kachanov, and you know Kachanov is going to be a good one. Yeah, double fault. That's. Imagine the emotions. Right no now. immediate reaction. No immediate reaction. Sits down, looks, bang, wow. bang, bang, wow. bang. Wow. I like it. I like it. That's a 9.2. I agree, actually. That's a 9.2. I like it because he thought about it. It was not immediate reaction. Calculated. Walk back, sits down, takes a look at it, and then zero hesitation. Yeah. Smash, 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 smash. The speed was off the charts. Total destruction of the racket. Good power. A lot of work ethic into it. I mean, they would talk about four or five swings in there. Easily. Right? I mean, I, I, we could have missed some of those so We could have missed, exactly. We could have missed some, for sure. Um, that's the best one so far. That's, in my I would agree that that's the best one. I like the fact that he sat down, and now yeah. he's, he's passed it. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. This isn't a Fognini, this isn't a Fognini no. one. This is... No residue. Again, audience, no reaction. Look at this guy. This Nothing. guy is just sitting there. It's the guy with the He's... sunglasses that really amazes me. The level of preparation by bringing sunglasses on, in an indoor event. Indoor event. Just goes to show the level of wisdom in yeah. that man. Yeah. I love the hands on the thighs too. Like yeah. The and then the look, the, the, look, look at the, the little toss. stare. The toss. The toss. The toss. Right. The toss. And then great. the stare. Yeah. The again, just... again, letting him know who's boss. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our video for today. Let us know what you think in the comments. Give us your ratings for each of these smash and let us know which one's your favorite. Also, as always, if you liked the video, give the video a like, click that subscribe button and click the notification button to make sure that you get notified every time we post a video. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate you always. And until next time, peace.